What's going on guys? Today I want to talk about the number one thing that's limiting your back gains. And if you have the muscle weakness that I'm right about to describe, you will never reach your genetic max for your back. That means your lats, upper back traps, everything is going to be subpar. And even if you have really good genetics, trust me, you're missing out on some serious, serious gains. So what is the muscle group that I'm talking about? What is going to limit your back gains the most? Very, very simple. Your lower back strength. That's it. Allow me to repeat that. Your lower back strength is going to limit your upper back strength. A weak lower back translates into a weak upper back. Why? Because every exercise that you do, or 99% of them that are very effective, involves stabilization of the lower back. It is what it is. So if I'm having you do deadlifts off the floor, or block pulls, or rack pulls, if you have a fucked up back because you're injured doing bad form, ego lifting, whatever, or you have a herniated disc, you're not gonna be able to go heavy. It's impossible. Don't try to tell me that you can lift over a thousand pounds when you have bulging discs like a madman. It cannot be done. You're going to have to resort to using light weight. You won't even be able to pull heavy off the floor on deadlifts. So there's practically no overload on the upper back or the traps or the lats. Nothing. You can't do anything about it because the lower back is going to limit you. What about barbell rows? Same thing. You got to stabilize. You got to keep it tight the entire lift. I hear guys talking about how they have lower back pain after doing barbell rows and they don't even have herniated discs. Imagine that. Imagine if you had real lower back issues. You can't even do barbell rows, bro. Come on. Like, that's a really big problem. You're going to have to resort to doing penley rowing variations, and which are very effective, but you're still missing out. And also the fatigue buildup. You know, if you're doing reps above 10, all of a sudden your lower back's going to cramp up and it snaps city. What about high volume pulls? You won't be able to do nine sets of three on a rack pull. You won't be able to, you won't be able to do five by five. Your volume is going to have to be so low while still keeping the reps somewhat moderate. So you're limited in practically everything. Even shrugs. If you try loading up a heavy weight out of a rack, you pick it out and you try doing some barbell shrugs, you're going to have to do slow and controlled squeezing. You cannot go heavy. You cannot be going above three, four plates if you have lower back issues. You're fucked. So the point I'm trying to make is that the lower back is the most important muscle group in the entire body, honestly. It's, I would say it is. Without a strong lower back, you are completely fucked. Completely. So that's the number one thing. A lower back, a weak lower back is going to fuck you permanently. So make sure that every time you go to the gym, even if you're doing a chest day, Throw in some lower back at the end. My personal favorite exercise is the reverse hyperextension because it tractions lower back. To me, that's priceless, you know, but you could also do standard hypers. You could grab a bar like Pete Rubin style, 45 degree back raise, boom, bring that shit up. You could hold place in your hands, do whatever it takes, but make sure that you're strengthening the hell out of that lower back. It has to be made out of titanium, and that's why I don't get injured. I never get injured because my lower back is so strong that it's just impossible. So the moment you injure your lower back, Training will never be the same. Mark my words, guys. The moment you injure your lower back, say goodbye to heavy deadlifts, say goodbye to heavy rows, say goodbye to all that shit. You're going to have to resort to doing lap pull downs, weighted chin ups, and machine rows, which could still give you a good back. Like, I'm not trying to break anyone down here, but it's not going to be as optimal. Don't tell me that your back's going to be as big as a guy like me if you're doing a, a stupid machine row, slow and controlled, combined with lap pull downs and weighted chin ups. You might get some good lats, you might get some decent thickness. But you're never going to be as big as you could be. And you're going to be so limited. And the, the, the chance of injury, like, you're going to have to be, it, it's going to be hell. I'm telling you. Once you have an injury, it's never the same. So don't get injured. Do prevention methods right now. And if you have herniated discs currently or they're, they're on the way to developing, stop the ego lifting. All right? Just stop that bullshit. Stop rounding your back on your deadlifts and all these other exercises. Use proper form. You can still do cheating as long as the lower back is tight and everything's cool. But be smart when you lift. Because you only get one lower back. If you fuck up your lower back, you will never develop the upper back that you're seeking. It won't happen. It just will not happen, right? And trust me, the, 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 the back as a whole has a crazy genetic potential. You'd be so surprised. I'm starting to believe that there practically is no genetic limit uh, in terms of what the upper back can achieve. Because the traps are just a very strong muscle. The upper back can stabilize a lot of weight. But there's so much you could do. I'm convinced that most naturals could rack pull over 1,000 pounds for reps easily if they put in the work. So if you have a low back problem, that's never going to happen. You're never going to be able to lift as much as you could be. So don't get injured. Train your lower back hard. It's not an essential muscle for looking big. I get that. But a strong lower back is going to ensure a strong upper back. Don't forget that shit. So I hope this video helped you out. Remember, you only got one lower back. Uh, let me know what your feedback is down below. And I'll talk to you guys next time.